In this video I will show you how to connect your Galaxy A14 as well as A15 and most other uh, Galaxy phones uh, to your laptop, uh, desktop or uh, Mac computer. So first things first, you obviously need the cable to do this and this is the same one you charge your phone with. Then plug it in your phone and obviously your device and you will see that it has started charging. Then this is the most important step where a lot of people fail. So you need to unlock uh, your phone basically. Even if, if you got some security, make sure you unlock it. And then uh, in most cases, uh, on most phones, a pop-up like this will appear and we need to click allow. This is a basic Android security basically. If you don't click this, yeah, it won't basically work and you won't be able to connect. If for some reason that pop-up doesn't show up, then we need to do this. We need to uh, swipe from up to down like this till a many these uh, notifications appear. And uh, here you will be able to see uh, basically USB for something, USB for charging. It might show like that. So click on that notification and we need to click it one more time for options. And then we need to make sure this is selected uh, for transferring files or may also say uh, use USB for transferring files but it will say basically to transfer files so make sure that's selected then uh, if for some reason uh, you try this uh, many times and you don't really see that uh, window popping up or any that stuff I was showing this then uh, there's most likely a problem with your phone's port or the uh, cable isn't bad. So there's most likely something stuck uh, inside there and we simply need to clean the port. If you go check out my other videos, I have a very good explanation on how to do that. But basically in short, uh, we need to take, obviously, first turn off your phone and need to take a very, very uh, fine needle, basically, a very tiny, tiny, tiny one. So, and uh, need to uh, basically get out, out any junk from there. But be very careful, we can damage it easily. It's best really if you check out my video code to do it properly. Then also we can take a paintbrush, take a few strands and simply brush it, brush it out as you hold it, the phone like that. Also, maybe if you got a blower like this, this works very, very well. We can simply blow out any junk with high force. So that's one thing. Also, even uh, if your phone is charging properly with the same cable, it doesn't really mean automatically that it will be good enough for charging. And especially if this is not an original cable, sometimes these uh, phones have trouble uh, using them for transferring files. So even if uh, it's uh, if it still charges, but it's not connecting uh, for file transfer, make sure to simply try another cable, and that's a uh, cause many times. Okay, once we are successfully uh, connected to. Our computer on the Windows it's very easy so you go to your start menu and uh, open this PC basically it might show a different one uh, depending on your operating system a pop-up somewhere here might appear which uh, tells you you can do this so you can open this and click on your device name and then click on the internal storage then, for example, if you want to uh, transfer out an uh, image to your computer, these are located in the DCIM folder. Click on that and click once more. Then we need to make sure that all the images have completed uh, opening up, basically. If you have loads of images and videos stored on your device, it might take several minutes to do that. Actually, maybe even 10 minutes if your phone is basically full. And we need to make sure that this process uh, is completely finished before we touch any of these images or try to do something with them. Otherwise, the whole process will basically hang up most of the time. Yeah, that's kind of frustrating. Anyway, uh, to transfer the image out, we can simply select them, click copy, 
then make a new folder maybe on your desktop. Okay, open that and simply click paste and all your image will be transferred. Then, uh, for example, if maybe you want to uh, transfer some music or movies to your internal storage of your phone, uh, we have to go back to basically the main start where all these folders are. And there are basically folders already for movies and music. So we can take our movie file and select the movie file and simply drag it to movies. Okay. Yep, and it will start transferring them. And that's basically how you uh, transfer files uh, in and out of your Galaxy A14, 15, and uh, again, most of the Galaxy phones. If uh, this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you.